Hey guys, this is Maxime from Banana Gaming. This little improvised video is going to be about scripting in Counter-Strike. In order to do this, we're going to be using alias, which is a command that's going to actually help us perform several different actions. So, first we're going to look at the commands. I want to drop the C4 without actually holding the bomb. So to do this, we have to type use weapon underscore C4 and that brings up the C4 and then we type drop. This will drop the C4 down. Now, we have to make this we have to make these two commands and put them into an alias. To do so, we can do like this. Alias and then we have to type a name for the alias drop C4. Next, we're going to put in the first command use weapon underscore C4 and then we type a semicolon this is the symbol we use to separate commands and drop end with the quotes and press enter now second step is to bind this to a key so we're gonna bind we're gonna select the key I'm gonna put you know, K for now and then I type drop C4 since that's the name of the alias so now that we have made the key let's press it alright so next step we're gonna add a little bit more to the alias just to show you that we can add more stuff so let's go back to the alias and now let's put in a team message so that everyone knows that you dropped the bomb so we're gonna type say underscore team which is the command to to type a team message and then we're gonna type dropping bomb boom now we don't need to rebind this because K is already binded to drop C4 so this is what happens alright let's play around a little bit with the plus and minus signs of alias these are when you're holding down a key and when you're releasing the key to do this we're gonna type alias plus let's do a, let's do a duck when shooting okay so we're gonna we're gonna type fire duck and in this command we're gonna type plus attack semicolon plus duck these two commands plus attack and plus duck are used when shooting and ducking now we can't just bind this because if we're binding this we also have to specify what happens after you release the key so we have to redo the alias but with the minus sign now and then we type minus attack semicolon minus duck now we're ready to bind this so we're binding this to for example K and plus fire duck. There's no point in binding minus fire duck because you know that's only when you're releasing the key. So what will happen is when I press K, I'm gonna shoot and duck. Alright, we can even bind this to mouse one. So we're replacing our mouse one key, which is plus attack as you can see now. We're gonna bind mouse one to plus fire duck. And now the regular mouse one key is a regular, yeah, useless alias, basically. It's great for AKs and stuff like that, but I wouldn't recommend using it because look what happens when you're slashing. <laughs> now, maybe we should focus on jumping and ducking at the same time. So we type alias, and then we type jump, duck, and plus jump, semicolon, plus duck. And then we have to redo it again and type jump, duck, minus jump, semicolon, minus duck. And then we bind this to, let's say, space. Why not? Space is good. All right, so I'm holding down the key now. When I release the key, he's going to stop crouching. And as you can see, it works. Like I said before, if we don't specify the minus of the alias, the guy is still going to crouch. He's not going to he's not going to stop crouching because we haven't specified that we're releasing the key when we're ducking. That was it, guys. I hope this video was helpful and stay subscribed for more awesome content. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye.